Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring a Bastanon double fighter team. I think I first saw this when I battled House Stark on stream. I'm not sure if he's the creator but he's the first one. Someone let me know down in the comment section below and then probably harass me for not crediting the right person but anyways this person is you got wrecked. Definitely a candidate for the best um name for gbl so obviously a zoom roll a little bit of a problem for this team um but not too much of a problem because talkstro does handle a zoom roll decently well um and so does so does so does um and so does bassinot so if they don't have hydro pump and it was able to bait so if you bait once um you're able to win the two shield uh, pretty easily because uh, it does allow you to um, pace with the zoom roll appropriately. If you sync your fast moves, then you should be fine as well. But yeah, this should be totally fine. And as well, this team uh, does really well against Obama Snow. As you can see, Obama Snow does not have too many options here. All right. We're going to see Obama Snow coming into Toxicroat, which is never a fun time for Obama Snow. Let's see what's in the back. Sometimes it's Marowak. Sometimes it's, uh, well, okay. It's this time it's g -Fist. Interesting. So I've seen this variation of a team before, like double weak to counter, um, like, uh, like in the lead and in the back with Azu in the middle, middle, honestly, like honestly, uh, um, Azu plus then fist plus uh, something else is, uh, um, not always the best team combination in my opinion i think like uh deoxys or sableye um but like sunfist makes sense um pairing i think there's like a better anti-flyers that you should consider than than sunfist it makes it a little bit too vulnerable to like a counter lead but anyways uh we're gonna go into the next battle bastodon into venusaur uh, Venusaur wins this in the one shield, I believe, and it's very close to the two. I think Bastion went pl wins pretty clearly in the um, in the zero shield. So basically, you're going to be able to force Venusaur to throw a move. And a lot of times, people run Venusaur uh, double steal. To be honest, right? So like, um, Toxtro can definitely hand take a frenzy plant. It is. Uh, Persisted does a lot of damage. Yeah, this is gonna be double steel in the back. Um, might be stun fist. Um, this should be all right. Or otherwise, like, what kind of mad person <laughs> switches in a registeel on a toxic crow? It's definitely stun. It has to be stun fist in the back. And I expect like a toxic crow to almost sweep this team. This mud bomb definitely will not KO. Uh, Venusaur, but I imagine it'd be pr okay. I'd be like you have to be pretty mad not to shield there, but Okay, what the heck they actually had a uh, what? They had a swampert or is that what the heck that is? <clears throat> extremely confusing there Why didn't they go swampert into um What? I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, I think they still win this game. I think a meta champ could probably sweep in the back, but oh man, what a beautiful switch! Um, they are going to be able to farm down here and basically get the same energy they had before. Uh, and so did it make a huge difference, probably not, but still, pretty nice switch. Pretty nice switch. They probably should have undercharged that on the Swampert and come out with two hydro cannons, but. That's pretty, pretty difficult to execute. All right, we're going to this next match. Um, Bastion versus Pelipper. Oh, here comes Vigoroff. Don't need to shield the first body slam. And it's very unlikely that, uh, well, I guess the, if the Vigoroff double shields, it could in theory counter down. It would be very oh no not without that can't gain the counter through that's why you, if you want to try to win switch sometimes you gotta not throw the move because then that counter made like a huge difference and here comes Pelipper. gonna throw the 
Sometimes it's like uh, like stun fist in the back. Okay, they don't want to farm. Okay, or or they've given up. I don't really know. Don't really know, and kind of confused. All right, pass on to Hypno. This is a good matchup. I wonder if this is going to be Hypno Double Dark. That would be interesting. And you always have to be careful if they have Focus Blast or not. But they end up shielding. I think you shield once for safety purposes. Well, they have likely there. It's there's absolutely no way they have Fire Punch Focus Blast. They would have to be absolutely mad to run that kind of move set. There's just no, there's no world. I don't want to say no world, but it's extremely unlikely that they have that kind of move set. So, all right. So this is uh, pretty pretty solid. Hmm. Govantula. Ooh, get this two wall switches went through, so they they have the move now. No, they don't have the move now. Okay. This is all right though. Can uh, smack it down, and then this game's over. I don't think they can volt switch down. There's no way. You cannot volt switch down at Bastion. Yeah, they definitely were overcharged here, uh, but you can counter, counter down from here. And yeah, this match is over. But champ, not today, not today. All right, we're into this next match. Pass it on into Obama Snow. That is terrible for Obama Snow. Okay. Uh, this is fine too. So they have Azu in the back, right? So uh, we've seen this uh, team composition before. Don't need to shield this. Uh, Basson easily beats um, Sableye. It's not an XL one. I think this is just like a like a really high IV. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting that they decided to go this way. Hmm. I mean, it would have stayed, but let's see. And they went as what the heck? Well, um, that worked out in their favor, I guess. I don't really know. This is kind of this is like almost an impossible team composition for for them to win, right? So I think you shield this, and then um. Yeah, I find it very unlikely. Yeah, this is nowhere that if this, this ice beam hydro pump with Sableye in the back, I'd find that pretty. Wow. Okay. Well, I was like, I'd find that pretty unlikely, but honestly, Meta Champ can sweep here, right? So, um, wow. Really interesting. Interesting. And they're gonna power stone down, which is actually kind of dangerous, right? Because this. Obama Snow with energy is pretty dangerous, right? Uh, but they would need to land energy ball plus weather ball. Like two weather balls definitely wouldn't KO. That energy ball did a ton of damage. Holy Jesus, that was, uh, maybe two weather balls would have KO. That that was kind of insane. That was kind of insane there. So picked up the 5-0. I think uh, that was crazy. Like who, there's the Pikachu Libre. Uh, that's, that's all right, IVs. No, no pineapple. Why not? I don't know. I guess you don't really need to pineapple it, but getting a little extra candy uh, would be helpful if you ever want to XL, um, XL the Pikachu. So we go into the second set. I believe we're showing two sets today. Pass it on into, oh my gosh, Bomb Snow again. Okay. All right. And they go into Deoxys here. Uh, kind of a tough lead, but they likely have Azu in the back, right? So, um, gonna shield here. Okay, makes sense. Let's throw a bunch of ice punches here. I like they have Psycho Boost though. 
No, no, they don't have Psycho Boost, uh, what I'm talking about. Of course, they have a Thunderbolt and a Meta Jam. Um, I don't think he needs a shield here. Honestly, I think Toxtro can sweep uh, in the back. Uh, should be able to outpace uh, two, uh, two Ice Punches and at least threaten a shield before they, especially before they get to um, another move. They're definitely going to Rock Slide. Um, this Metacham. And then I think you can just sweep with Toxtro, right? Like, I don't think... Okay. Okay. Or not. Um, I did... Oh, man. I don't know. They could try to win Switch here. Okay. They clearly want to. Honestly, I don't know if it makes a huge difference here, though. Here comes Toxtro. And then here comes the Palma Snow, I guess. No, Swampert, okay. Interesting. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> it's gonna be a pretty close game then. Okay. Um let's see if four counters does a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie, right? Like two, three. Oh my gosh, they switched. Energy ball? Okay, that does a lot of damage. You have to farm down. Hmm. Energy ball again, man. That almost kills a. What the heck? They definitely gave away that. They went. Almost known. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Well. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay, so this is a tough lead here, but it has two counters to it. Oh, Whimsicott. Okay. Gonna bait here. I don't know if you make it to the Sludge Bomb, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but let's see. Come on, Toxtro. Come on, Toxtro. Okay, gonna make it a Sludge Bomb here. If, it, if they don't shield, this is absolutely game over. Okay, even if they do shield, Obstacle is not as bad of a fighter to deal with um yeah i like the, i like the shield there to be honest i think that's a pretty strong shield they might get to another one it's uh very likely they get to another one yeah honestly two stone edges like does a lot of damage to this obscure especially they took a couple counters here Gets the smackdown. Oh, the counter through. Does a lot of damage. It almost KOs, right? They're going to be able to land. Unless they land a cross shop here, I think this game might be over. Okay. They land. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see here. The psychic is going to do a lot, right? And they're hitting for neutral counters. This is definitely. Especially if they. Okay. If they can, man, live this weather ball. Jesus, Bastidon. <laughs> Come on, Bastidon. That is a. Wait till people have XL Bastidon, then, uh, then that will be crazy. That would be absolutely nuts. Okay. All right. Well, that was a cool, cool win con. F counter plus double fighter, double f charmers lose to. Bass on double fighter. That's kind of crazy here. I kind of want to see this double dark team in the back. That's uh, pretty popular. You don't need shield this for sure. The shuttle ball makes sense. They got an extra confusion through though. That's not good. Shuttle ball is pretty scary prospect for the back line. You definitely tank this if you want, but also probably should shield. Let's see what they do with this hip now. Gonna hopefully outpace it to this ice punch. Nice. I like that play. I like that play a lot. Take the neutral confusions and then let's see what's in the back. It is Skarmory. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Gonna go for the psychic. Okay. This oh, I don't know. That kind of sucked there. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Why not with the switch clock out? This is ice beam though. Take it and then stone edge and then leave. Okay, I like that play. I like that play. I like that play a lot. Though the ice punch would have been really helpful on I think you saved the shield. Oh man, that is a very nice play. Put this put the talk score really low so that they can't farm that much with Skarmory, but still get enough damage to put into flamethrower range. Very nice. The this mud bomb actually gonna put it pretty close to flamethrower range. Oh yeah, I think that I think it's definitely in range now. Flamethrower gonna be super effective here. This bastion is really really low. Ooh, beautiful play, beautiful play. Should have waited the clock out though and and through the ice punch, but really 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 nice play there. Bastion into Vigoroth. Okay, not a good lead. Gonna switch out to Toxtro. Gonna be met by Altaria again. Vigoroth not as bad to deal with. Um, okay, gonna double sludge bomb here. Oh man, gonna be able to take a shield here. Man, these counters really added up. Oh my gosh. What the heck? They're locked in. They have two body slams though, but let's see here. This ice punch uh, will probably KO. They almost have to shield this. Okay. Probably should shield one of these. They have still some residual energy left though. Oh, go Vanchula, go Vanchula. Oh my, go Vanchula. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is uh, all sorts of bad for them. Um, definitely no shield. Farm it all the way down. Has a sh has the ice punch ready. Man, what this trainer does really well is story moves and then basically saving the shield, right? Like you don't need to shield Bastion on at all, right? You just. Just throw a move, take the last shield on their side, and then you have an ice punch ready. And this this Vigoroth is very low. Like there's almost no way they cannot shield this. They probably live the Stone Edge, but um, and then a switch and uh, ice punch here. Very nice. This can be GG. All right, really well played battles there. I believe this is the last battle. Ooh, Retro Steel. Okay, all right. Mew. Okay, this is a winnable. This is a winnable match. As crazy as that sounds, this is probably a surf. Um, oh, it's a flame charge. That is not good. Maybe not with flame charge. Uh, but guess good to bait at the. Oh man, how many times does this Talk Truth's IVs came in super clutch? Oh man, okay, wow, okay. Oh my gosh, how in the world can you possibly win this game? This isn't one shot, but they're gonna be able to lock on down. No, they can't lock on down. They cannot lock in down. Here goes flamethrower. They have to throw again, so they're gonna be at uh, all. They're they're gonna be at most at like. Uh, oh man, there's no way. There's no way, right? There's no way you can lock on down. Do you just let this go and then farm with Swamper. But man, two shields on Metacham, just double psychic. It's no drama here, right? Just double shield. They're gonna be able to outpace the second one, but the, like they, they're not. They're only gonna be able to land one hydro at most, and I don't even think they get to the hydro. Yeah, they definitely don't, and that's gonna be GG. Wow. Okay. <sighs> crazy, crazy games. Really, really tremendously well played. 
Um, congratulations on reaching legend and showing off a really great team. Again, credit to how Stark for the person, first person that I saw run this team, but obviously someone else could have created it. You let me know down in the comment section below. And it's going to leave it there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.